Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and we kept the title here for the repeat in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why like we have many, many others. Today I'm sure there's 2011 Subaru Legacy uh, B4 Wagon. It's got um, 96,000 kilometers on it, which is about 60,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Super Legacy Wagon is a uh, five-passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now, you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being U.S. dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Two things I want to show you before we go inside. First one being the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to be that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, you may want to consider buying a dash cover. Or if you want to keep it simple, get yourself a larger size bath towel or beach towel, lighter in color, and drape that across. The second thing is it does have the uh, slots here for roof racks or crossbars. Very easy to do. So with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. Ooh, it is warm in here. All right. So you see this, it has these little, little um, metal uh, plates there. You want to keep that in a safe place because that's going to help you replace these uh, key fobs if you uh, uh, lose them, but don't lose them. Foot on the brake, it is a push start. You're going to push this one time and it goes. Sneak this in here. 96,067 uh, on the odometer. Let's show you a couple of the warning lights. That blue one right there, that's your temperature gauge. So it's going to be blue when the engine's cool and it's going to remain on, that's normal. Is that the radio? Okay, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna go away when the engine warms up. That's normal, and then it's gonna be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. That's not normal. Uh, this one, obviously, your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And that one right there is your emergency brake. Now this one's a little different. So when you pull it towards you, your foot needs to be on a brake. You're gonna pull it forward uh, towards you. That's gonna go away. You push it away from you. That light turns on, and now it's back on again. Okay, so it's a, a push button type. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? Look at this air conditioner rolling, it is blazing in here. All right, on top of the dash in the middle, you have uh, uh, outside temperature and the time. You have your radio. This one does have a rear camera. A uh, little compartment here for storage, air conditioning controls, more storage, and a power outlet. You have your shifter. Then the type of drive that you want, you got uh, Sport, Sport Plus, and Intelligent. Uh, no, that doesn't make you any smarter, but you never know. Uh, your cup holders, your center armrest slash console, it's going to give you a little tray there. And the next one's going to give you a little more space underneath for storage. Continue to the left, you have your glove box, and a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there, you got your red road flare hanging out. Then this is the space that I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I am extended. So on these new uh, body style Imprezas and Legacies, there's more leg room in these. So I would definitely, I could drive like this, but uh, I would definitely slide this up a couple inches to be more comfortable. Maybe two to three inches to be a little more comfortable driving. All right, uh, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see, I can see a sliver of the hood. Not all that much, go all the way back. And, I'd like to take this time to show the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all the cars. We can for each one. 
And some deals will try to discredit this uh, auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. It was graded four from the auction with a B and C and the exterior interior. So it's a pretty good grade. That's going to be up here, very clean car. That's going to be up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side. So we'll, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so you see that for yourself, and we'll also uh, help you uh, decipher it if need be. Now, you do have cruise control here, and as I fight off the sneeze, <laughs> excuse me. So cruise control, you do have paddle shift. So if you uh, need a little extra speed, on the right side here, you're gonna open the door. You have your mirror controls. This is gonna control the uh, illumination of the dash. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that right now. Um, I already showed you the uh, emergency brake. This is parking assist uh, on a hill. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And then this guy right here, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the uh, card for it for the expressway. And then down here, all the way back, you have your hood release. Please don't forget on the floor here, you have your gas cover release. Then on the door panel, you have your door lock and window controls right here. To turn it off, your foot does not have to be on a brake. You're going to push that one time and it turns off. It looks like we have some rain coming, so I need to finish up this video. All right, jump on in. I don't want this to close. All right, so we seat all the way back, all the way down. I'm a good uh, two and a half inches away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, each seat back does have this netting uh, for storage. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that because you only have the storage in the middle, and once in the middle goes all the way out, you don't have a lot of it's going to fall out, whatever you have. But just be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it. And a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. Then it does have the all important vents here. Now you see how this is uh, all the way down? You got to make sure that white is all the way up, that white little uh, line. This way you get in the airflow. And you want to make sure they're pointing in the right direction. So you want this uh, off center to the left, you want this facing up, off center to the right, and it's going to help you cool down the car a lot quicker. And it does have a center armrest that comes down, pretty much stays level, and it's going to give you two cup holders. All right. Let's go back here. Oh, all right. I think this, these absorbers are, are bad, so uh, we're going to get those replaced. All right, but um, here's your rear space. Now, you see those handles? I'm not going to be able to do it, obviously, because I only have one hand and one arm uh, uh, right now. But if you pull on those handles, those seats are going to go flop down, and those will lay down flat. But then this privacy cover you are able to take out if you have to haul stuff. Okay, so you can have that whole space open. Now, i got to be careful closing this. I don't want to break the rear window or anything so we're going to get those hydraulics placed replaced let's come up here let's show you the engine compartment we're going to wrap this video up yep i can feel the little cool breeze now that means the rain is coming all right so there you have it uh this is a 2.5 liter boxer engine nice and clean so there you have it 2011 subaru legacy b4 wagon 96,000 kilometers on it again about 60,000 miles military prices are at 5,900 with additional military discount, we'll get it down at 5700 Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on-the-lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5700 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement. Whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars to show we have, what our program's all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe. And please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.